okay now let me define quasi convexity okay so this was quasi concavity let me now define quasi convexity so we say that f is quasi convex if lower level set is a convex set okay so if uh, for all a okay uh, the lower level set okay let me just write p superscript a okay uh, uh, x in s okay so x in the domain where the value of the function is smaller than or equal to a okay so this is a lower level set okay uh, this set is a convex set Okay, uh, so if this is true, then we say that f is f is quasi convex. Okay, is that fine? Okay, uh, so let me just quickly ask you one or two questions, and then I'll give you uh, that property, you know, similar property which is equivalent to quasi convexity. Uh, so, um, so what about this particular function? Uh, suppose I give you a function u x y equal to minimum of x square y square what can you say about this function is this quasi quasi convex uh, again assume that u is a function from r2 plus to r okay is this quasi convex draw the lower level set you already know how to plot the indifference curve why don't you draw the lower level set just use it and tell me uh, is this lower level set or convex set or not okay uh, so all that you have to do is you just have to plot the level curve you know uh, because it's a function uh, you know the domain is r2 plus okay so basically plot the indifference curve or level curve okay uh, so notice that the level curve will look like this you know just set it equal to a then uh, you know if you set it equal to a this is going to be square root of a this is going to be square root of a and the lower level set will be this set is this set a convex set? No, it is not. So is this function quasi convex? It is not. Is that fine? Okay. Okay, so let me give you that equivalent property. I'm not going to prove it. I'll just take it as an exercise. Uh, so, uh, so quasi convexity is equivalent to, uh, you know, you can call that averages are worse than extremes. I don't know if you want to use that word, but that's okay. I mean, it's just analogous to averages are better than extremes. Uh, so, uh, you know, you can define averages are worse than worse than extremes. Okay. Uh, so F satisfy averages are worst than extremes property if uh, if for every x prime x double prime okay belonging to s and then for every lambda between 0 and 1 okay uh, we have this uh, condition uh, true okay that f of lambda x prime plus 1 minus lambda x double prime is less than or equal to so when i say averages are worse than extremes basically it means that averages are worse than the uh you know better of the extremes okay uh, so in fact uh, you know earlier also you know when i said averages are better than averages are better than extremes uh then it was uh that uh you know the value of the function at the average is greater than or equal to uh you know the worst of the extremes okay so uh, so here also it's just going to be analogous okay it's just going to be less than or equal to max 
of fx prime fx double prime okay okay and it turns out that these are equivalent okay so you can uh, you can uh, show this using the same set of steps that we have shown earlier okay uh, that this is that these are equivalent you can also show that every convex function is quasi convex okay uh, so basically this is the connection between convexity and quasi convexity so this is just the same kind of results okay the same kind of proofs uh, you might want to take that as an exercise okay uh, so show this equivalence okay and show that f is convex implies f is quasi convex okay so again this immediately gives you you know the uh, the contrapositive result you know which is if f is not quasi convex it cannot be convex okay so if i'll give you let's say a level curve for some particular function f and let's say it looks like this okay okay so this is the level curve okay of a function from r2 plus to r where the preference is increasing in this direction okay so what that means is this is an upper level set this is a lower level set okay now if i'll ask you this question can this function be you know uh convex you know i mean can this this level curve or you know this kind of graph of level curves can this be a result of you know using a convex function f i mean can you get a level curve like this and direction of preference in this direction if uh, if the underlying function uh, is a convex function okay let me let me tell you how to think about it what can you say about the lower level set That, that, that's right okay uh, so lower level set you know if you see the lower level set it is not a convex set okay and since the lower level set is not a convex set it, it you know the function is definitely not quasi convex okay uh, so if the, it is not quasi convex it cannot be convex so you can see you know like even though the level curves are convex okay so uh, but uh, the function that is giving you these kind of level curves is not convex okay so we have seen that you know we can go from concave to quasi concave okay uh, basically we can show that every concave function is quasi concave we can show that every convex function is quasi convex so basically you know let me give you another homework okay so what you have to do is you know we know that let's say this is a set of all functions set of all functions so venn diagram okay so you have to think of a function uh so you know you can you can think of functions defined on real line as well as functions that are defined on r2 plus okay or r2 you know whatever you like okay and pick functions let's say utility function production function you know whatever you have seen in the micro classes you know pick pick functions from there or you can construct your own functions whatever you like okay uh, so think of a function in each of these categories okay so uh, this is quasi concave so this is set of all quasi concave functions okay and then uh, you know so so uh, so we have seen that all concave functions are quasi concave so basically this is a smaller set okay so this is concave okay and then you also have functions that are both concave and convex okay uh, so uh, so it will be some intersection okay uh, so this is convex okay and then you have some quasi convex functions Okay, uh, so this is quasi convex set of all quasi convex functions. Okay, so you have to think of functions, you know, in each of these categories. So one that lies here, one that lies here, one that lies here, one that lies here. Okay, one that lies here, one that lies here. Okay, uh, and think of you know uh, uh, functions 
from different uh, you know defined on r defined on r2 r2 plus you know i mean just just think about it you know it's just a construction exercise uh, it will be really helpful okay in understanding these properties